Roka will, sh- will sit over here as Roka's walking in now first. Now you won't hear my fidget spinner anymore. No, it won't. So they're sitting down, and there's Bibbs. Bibbs is going to sit. And what Here's I would ask... Bibsy. What I would ask is to try, because I've been in the room with you guys many times when we got here. Uh-huh. Don't yell over one another. Oh, that's half Let's the fun. Let us... Let us... I want to have the... I'm going to... Just find out. It's a perfect song to be playing. Some conversations here. It's upside down, those of you care. Oh. You know. Jesus Christ. All right. Brandon. New champion? Brandon. All right. So look, the movie trivia showdown champion of the world, William the Beast Bibiani, is here. For now. The challenger, the number one contender. No, I'm sticking John, around the whole episode. The outlaw Roca. All right, Bibbs, let's Hi. start with you. You yes. are the champion. You, I am. You and Roca have been circling around this dance for over a year. Um, and now you get him. Now you get him. Now, um, how do you how do you prepare? Are you have you been on a roll? This I season? have. Are you prepared for this? Do you think uh, is this is this a scary opponent or, or is this is this is this easy peasy? You know, there's a there's a you, you say scary opponent and easy peasy as though those are the only two answers. Okay. I'm not scared of Roka. I think if Andrew Guy has proved everything is that he can be tackled. What I plan <laughs> to do is I plan to go in because here's the thing with me and Roka. All right? Oh, we hate each other. But we don't want to settle this, like, out in the alleyway, they live style. Right. <laughs> we want to see We want to see who actually knows the most about movie trivia. That might be right. quicker than five rounds. That would be very, very... I have a bad knee. That's over in a second. Right. It's mm. done. It's fine. I'll, I, I, if that was the case, I would give it to you. Right, yeah. As but it's it stands, a mental battle. Movie trivia. I think I can do it. All right. I think Roka is going to be a great opponent. I think he, he, you know, it wouldn't, there would be no point to a rivalry if he sucked. Yeah, John, so, yeah, that's yeah. true. And he's bringing up the rivalry. This is, yeah. I know how much from the get go, you and I have been friends for a long time, how much yeah. that thing means to you and Damn how much right. you want it. And yeah. is there a little <laughs> sweet justice in being able to take him on for it? Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? The biggest blowhard in the league? I would. I love this. I'm so excited to do it. Like, I've been studying, focusing. As soon as he won that belt, I immediately was like, oh, I'm going to take that off him. Yeah. Because there is no one that I've wanted to beat more in the league in such a long time than Bibiani because of how much he insulted the league when he first came into the league. How he would so? sit on the sidelines. You invited me into the league when I first came the, into the league. I didn't personally invite you, and you he laughed. To the he laughed. At, can I talk? Because you blow hard ass just got the talk, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, no, well, no, 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 on, on the side, no, biggest heel on the side this day. Let's on talk. The side Let's line, talk. On the sideline, he laughed at the questions. He would scoff at people's uh-huh. answers. He would answer for them. He he'd giggle when they got it wrong. I watched it all happen. And he insult the questions, okay. thinking the game was below him, beneath him, and he didn't respect the game. And so when his ass went out in the first round tournament, choked like a dog. When he went out in the first round in the tag team tournament, choked like a dog. Right. All of a sudden, he found this new humility, this new humbleness. But and I worked. started to respect him again. Okay. Yes, because I, I love the game so much. When you disrespect the game, you get my ire. It's ain't about heel or face. It's about respecting the what game. I, what I will say in defense of the champion yeah. is the fact that I didn't see a lot of that. No, because you were calling the matches. But what I will say, what I have seen from the champion is he is, and, and you do this as well, mm-hmm. he's an ambassador for the sport. He talks to the, sure. he talks to the fans all the time. Yep. He he really has carried the belt. He's proud of the belt. He asked him mm-hmm. to get coffee. He did, yeah, he asked people to get caught. Uh, no, no, they, they offer. They, no, they offer. you asked. But, but he is, Everybody witnessed but it. But the game has, has, I know how much it means to you now. Is, is what he was saying in the beginning accurate, inaccurate? Uh, I was playing a character, right. you see. Off was, camera, I sitting was, down. I, I had to stay in character, Daniel uh-huh. Day-Lewis style. Yeah, right. If you were right. that I, good, maybe. It, it, there you go, right? I'm as good as Daniel Day-Lewis. Thank no, you. No, so, not, not even close. So, look, look, look. This is a competition. We all have to put on... Uh, uh, a certain a certain amount of uh, uh, competitive right. fire, so and so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. For for me, you know, the only thing that was my issue with this whole rivalry, um, you know, he didn't have a problem, you know, with with me and the way I was playing the game back when I was in his stable winning games for right. him. But as soon as that was the case, the the horse persons are there for for Roca. They're, they're See, his this team. is a narrative not, he's created. Well, this let's is hear, let's the, hear the point. Well, look, look, you know, he, he, when you he, can't he win, builds, when you can't win, I want to create curses. You, you were right stable. before. Right, you both. Right, I want him to right, go and you to right, go. He, go built, he builds a stable, and then no one succeeds in that stable but him. He wins a championship. Everyone else, it collapses like a flan in a cupboard. He builds a new stable. It's the first thing that happened. To, damn, it's in your cupboard. All right, uh, uh, you know, the, his his. Uh, Inman loses the belt. Right. All right, we're looking at uh, some tournaments right now, and I'd be very surprised if his stablemates make it all the way to the end of this. Okay, we're looking at, you know, 
The Roka Show. You should know about the choking in tournaments. I should know about choking in yeah. tournaments. That's why I'm speaking, because I actually know what I'm talking that about. That you've blown it. Exactly. Yeah. So I know what it's like, and I can actually admit to it. Right. As opposed to so as we as we here. as we show here as we show here there is there is legit heat. I want to address this. You can you can. Okay. But there is legit heat between you two yeah. because I think it's also the competitiveness. I know how competitive you are. I know how competitive you are. I know how much that means to you, and I know how much mm. you want that. So when and that's the funny thing when people realize though too. It's like this is going to be a heated battle. This is going to be something you both have something to prove. You yeah. want to prove you can win it. Yeah. You want to prove you can defend it, and you want to fight and put up the battle. So you, I'm gonna let you. Respond to that. Sure. Please let him finish. We're very thought. uncomfortable back here. Do you want to leave? You okay? yeah. No. You want to hold the belt? It gives yeah, me yeah, strength. Yeah. Great weather we're having these yeah, Roxy, days. Yeah, Roxy, go ahead. Roxy, go ahead. I, do you guys find yourselves to be similar? That's a good yes. question. No. Why? This is why. This. It's like not yeah. even remotely close. Okay. Yeah. Well, you say you say yes, and you because. And, well, sure. I think uh, uh, Roka uh, defined the blowhard game in the Schmodown. I'm actually taking Sweetheart, cues I backed it up with from, titles. Yeah, so did he. So, yeah, there yeah. you go. You, you fluked your way into one, yeah. Yep. There we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sorry, would you have I turned won it down? matches would to you, get to mine. Would you have turned it down? I won matches would you have to get to mine. Would you have I won it matches down? to get would to mine. Would you have turned it down yeah. under the circumstances You had rules created would for it, you to get there. Yeah. As opposed to Kalinowski coming up to you and said, you know all those rules about how you had to Now, but when I first contenders. won the belt, I beat the best and I went through the tournament. I didn't have rules created so that I could get a shot at the title. Hey, listen, I I won it legitimately. Okay. And you hated me because you're a cabal. You and your cabal, I you talk cabal? all kinds of crap about me offset, and I hear about it. I have a cabal? That's why I blocked you off the end. That's why I got into it, because I got into your head. I blocked you. I talked about you because I heard all this crap you've been saying behind the scenes. All these people tell me the crap you were talking about me and about all the well, shit you were so, saying. Like, which, so which, I which, wanted which? to come after you. So I want to take that belt off you, man, because you don't respect the game. You don't respect the players in the game, and that frustrates yeah, the hell out of me. Yeah, not similar, no. Cabal? Yeah, I, I, would say, I would say that they're pretty similar. I would say that they have a, they have a very... I'd say like, I'm better. Uh, well, we're gonna find that out. We're gonna find that in a couple days. But like, I think I gotta be honest. I gotta be here, here's my my when I'm looking at this right now. Yeah, I think he's approaching it pretty calm and, and coming after you saying this is this is how it's, I think he's get I think you I think you're getting fired up. Yeah, because you know what Connor does. Connor sells a match. That's what I'm doing. I'm selling I think the match. He's selling the match. Too. Yeah, that's right. Like could be he's could be he's a, it, well I'm gonna be could be actually once this thing goes down right. on Friday. That's for sure. But I can I, make up so, names too. You know he's he's, they're, he's they're actually real UFC, people in MMA. UFC, oh you have yeah, oh, actual real fights. Thank you. Okay, cool. They're not in movies, so yeah, real fights. Right. Listen, but here's the thing. He created this narrative of this horse, this horse person's. Like we went in, we rode the stupid wooden horses for him to help him because he loves those big entrances. Right. He needs the attention. He needs all the glamour. He needs it all, you know. But we did it all to try to help him. Didn't help. He blew it. He blew right. it. And Meyer then Burnett. They Meyer me. Burnett blew and they it. You. No, and they no, they you left. Me right you away. left. Not right away. You left. Not right we away. We tried to help you. You wouldn't listen. He says that you. I mean, when I talk <laughs> to him, he, well, he, he says he tried to abandon him. In the, in the, like there was no help. There was no support. I, every time um, we tried to talk, we tried to help him. I said, you got to do this, you got to do this. He wouldn't listen. No, 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 I'm going to do it my way. I will I say I want to create though. the growling commandos. I want to do the growl, growl. Didn't sell a shirt. When what you, you won that, and I know this footage, I've seen it, and the fans play it all the time. When you won that against Dan Merle in yeah. February, yeah. I did not see Matt Nose. I did not see Burnett. Matt wasn't there. I'm just saying. To be fair. I'm just there. saying. I didn't see Matt Nose. Yeah, I didn't see Burnett. I didn't see, I know Riley and you were tight back then. I didn't see anyone. But we were tight. He was on my stage. The only person I didn't, that I did see who congratulated you mm -hmm. was the man to my right. The guy who man. wanted to ride my coattails to the championship. He, yeah. he, you invited me. He, 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 wanted, was going he on. wanted that attention. He came in. You know what he did? He hugged me. Then he turned around to the camera and made sure and went, yeah, me. Yeah, me. I thought and we were was, in a stable. It was a celebrity. You don't think it was, that, we're not in a stable? No, not we're not in a stable. I didn't believe it at all. And oh, when it happened wow. and I saw the replay, I was like, ah, something bothered me about okay. that. And as it progressed, so see, and like, again, like I said, he creates this horseman curse or this yeah. horseman thing, which the fans have now glammed onto yes. and created. Yeah, exactly. But the right. horseman, he created the horseman curse. To explain the fact that he choked. Ooh. He wanted to, oh, it's a curse. It wasn't my fault. It's a curse. Makuga, Own your Makuga shit. It looks son. like he's at Thanksgiving and the family uh, dinner has just exploded. Hi. Josh. Hi. Uh, <laughs> what, now I Let's ask talk you. talk about politics. Now, before they came Shoot. in, before they came in, I said, I know that what this is going to turn into. Um, you yeah, hear this? this. Is intense. We had We had impression. We had, we had, we were not impressions. We were taking in predictions of what was happening. Now, what do you think? You said you didn't think Roko was going to be affected by. There's a lot of heat in this room right now. There's a lot of heat. Legit heat. Match, so Legit heat. This is this is this is something. Man. Now listen, I picked Roka before I walked in the, into the. Yeah, room. I did. Uh, I sit next to him every day. 
host many a show with him. Thank you, sir. I've seen the I've seen the tidal waves. I've seen the waves. I've seen the ups and downs. I've yeah. also seen being very intimidated by William Bibiani's first match because he he went out. And but then I saw him lose to JTE, somebody that I've beaten. Uh, then I was also here for my first ever big event in the free, free for all twenty two rounds. Yeah, it it's it was like oh, yeah. it was Drago training in four. Yeah. Uh, which, so, should, which shouldn't be laughed at, Roka. 22 rounds in a free-for-all. I'm not laughing okay. at it. I'm saying... Uh, I mean, I was exhausted standing there not answering yeah. questions. The fact that he stayed up there the whole time. His hands were black from uh, erasing whiteboards. Yeah. This is... The, <laughs> the, the calm, cool collectedness of... William Bibiani right now mm -hmm. versus the fiery Bolivian over he here. Hasn't gotten, can, can he just, hasn't gotten heated. Can I just say something yeah. about the free for all? Because this is, this is something that's been bothering me sure. the idea that I'm some sort of paper mache champion or whatever yeah. the hell yeah. the, the expression mm -hmm. is. Um, the, the rules of the free for all is if you win, you get a title shot. If you are the MVP, you get a contender shot. I did that. And then I played my matches, and then I got the belt. If mm -hmm. you're saying that I'm that I'm illegitimate, then the free for all is meaningless, and I disagree with that. I'm gonna disagree. With, I'm gonna disagree with that as well. And here's the other thing. Oh, I never said it was meaningless. You, well, but you're, you're saying I'm not a legitimate. I'm saying I'm a champion. We're not I've allowed to use our phones in, phones in the room. It's okay. Yeah. So go ahead, John. John. What were you saying? Sorry, my family members are wishing me. My family members wishing me happy birthday. That's fine. Happy birthday. That's fine. I'm sorry. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm sorry. So the sorry, Roxy. So you, but you say you you okay. you're, you're going back on it. You're saying he is a legit champion. That's not. Oh, he's a legit champion. Yeah. He won the belt. Yeah. Just like uh, people been and bashing he beat Snyder. People hit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Snyder I showed his belly. Snyder. He Snyder showed his belly. But he beat him and choked and gave up. He gave yeah. up. So you would have taken gonna, it easy. On I don't him? give him credit for that. No, no. He you gave up. But it's he not a legitimate victory. He gave up. The Andreco one. The Andreco one. I give you absolutely. That's you beat. You own Andreco. There's no lie there. You've beaten him twice. And you brought it up in movie fights like a jerk. And so <laughs> those kinds of stuff are the thing. That's the thing I want to make clear to the fans. He's not this cute, bubbly guy you see that he puts on an act for everybody. He's kind of mean and dirty, and he says uh, 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 mean things to people off camera, little sarcastic jabs, things like that nature. So and you don't, that bothers me. Real that question, bothers me. Real though. question, Roka. You don't? Yeah, I do it playfully. He means it. Okay, what? so I don't know you about do that. say mean things I'm gonna, off I'm gonna, air, I'm push but back you're joking. Well, you can't say, you're, you're defending your, your boy. That's, uh, ben I'm, and I have had a back and forth. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, push, I'll push back on that too. I think, <laughs> That's fair. I think he. I think he plays the game the same way that you do it. I think he Shut does. Shut the fuck up. There it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna push back that. And I'll, I'll defend the champion on that one too, guys. I think that he plays. He plays into it. I think that. He, I do, I but there's say, a time to turn it off and a time to turn it on. Yeah, but I mean, I think sometimes too. Like Ben and I, well, had, Ben and I have had our shit, and we always talk I know. afterwards. I've been Andrew encouraged. and I, Andrew go and I have had our ahead. shit, and we always yes, talk I've afterwards. I've been encouraged, and frankly, by by this by this man here yes. to take the schmo down seriously on and off camera, and actually like try to try to own the belt. I've sent texts yeah. to you mm -hmm. where I was actually oh, like I, know about I was very texts. humble about the belt, and I was just like, look, I'm just I'm just another guy who won the belt, and I'm very honored to. And do, I said, wear it with a badge. You, like a badge. you told me to take it more seriously. Yeah. I am have to be constantly reminded to wear this thing. Because I find it immodest. Yeah. Okay. So I that's if I'm a jerk, I'm sorry if I'm a jerk off camera. I want to be a jerk on camera. Yeah. And I, I want to. And I, listen, I'm gonna, yeah. I, I don't mind. I, I, I'm gonna. Camera. I'm gonna. Uh, again, I, I will come to his defense on this one because I, I. I think that's inaccurate. I think that he's. Uh, I think he's been. Uh, I think he's been pretty good as far as in the character. And I think when he's in that arena. It's game on. So it's like you know. Oh, he's fantastic. No, in that no arena. I can't. No, deny I'm saying even behind the cameras. I think that even mm -hmm. if even if you because people remember this mm -hmm. is something. This is why when I go back to Roxy, while you were playing heel, my friend, you were the one that people would say mm -hmm. they, just, they would scream at you from the desk to shut up because you'd be calling out every single answer. Come mm -hmm. on, what up? Come on. You're right. I see no difference. Also, um, I'm going to defend Andrew. You know what? That's Guy a fair say, point. That's yeah. a fair point. Actually, yeah. I, you're right. I did do that. I was a bit intense at times in the in the past. Yeah. And I do get intense and that's I love the game that much I do get and so for that I do feel bad about later and I apologize and I do yeah. think about my own thing sometimes when I do that. So I hear you. Sure. You're absolutely right. I did that at the beginning. Right. But and he's still I, in the beginning I carried the heel mantle sure. for a long time. Did. I didn't wilt from it right. like other people have who asked to be heels and couldn't handle it. I took it for a year. Right. All the crap, all the comments, all the negative shots, all the things that question, like, uh, uh, you know, all the shots I took from the fans. Right. I did it all and carried it because the league, this league was, was the group thing. Well, I think that people like yourself, people like Bibiani, Makuga, Riley, Roxy, people are growing this Absolutely. league every Absolutely. single day. And I think that we have a champion that is 
terrifying. I think we have a champion yeah. that knows his stuff, and I am. Oh, I thought you were talking about Rachel and Clark. They okay. are too, but I'm not I'm talking okay. about you because I think right. that this match. Ba-dum-tch. Yeah, because this match is going to be intense. We've already seen this so far, but I, here's here's the one thing that I will do because we got ten minutes. And I want to talk, get your thoughts on movies as well before we leave here. Oh. <laughs> I like movies, Bibs. Yes, you, you got you got. Tell me, tell Roka here with nobody talking back. What is going to happen on Friday in this title match? Roka. Mm-hmm. How are you doing? I'm great. Awesome. Well, <laughs> you might not be so great on Friday. Mm-hmm. Because Friday, it's going to be you. It's going to be me. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a lot of our bad blood. And we're going we're gonna to duke it out in the ring like ring people would do. You know those ring people? Yeah, those ring people. Okay, cool. Yeah. I don't know my sports. Um, and it's going to come down to you. It's going to come down to me. It's going to come down to questions. And in the end... The person who answers the most right questions, depending on the point value, right, will win. Okay. And um, prediction. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. It's going to be close. Okay. I think we're I th- we think we're more similar than you realize. And I think that if you win, I'll be a little surprised, but good for you. And if I lose. I'm as good as John Roca. He's never defended a belt. All right. And then how? Yeah, which, which he reminded me of, remember, when I lost it. He, he was did. really mean about it. All right. Well, let's see. So he's not the sweet, <laughs> cuddly teddy well, bear people go, think. Now let's oh, go. he's two yeah. there are. Now let's go. <laughs> you have your chance. Be as nice as possible. Yeah. Here you go. Sure. Here's what I'll say <laughs> Bibiani, you have disrespected the game, you have insulted the game. And then when you understood the mistakes you were making, you became a humble champion. And I respected you. But as soon as you got that belt again and you saw Andrew and I call you out on it from the desk, you started shooting your mouth off thinking you were above the game again. My goal is to take that belt from you because this league deserves a real champion. And I'm a real champion. And I've never been more focused to go and get this belt, even when I face Dan, all right? We've got a new study plan. My Lady Outlaw and I have come up with a new study plan to come get you because you are an intelligent man about movies. You are a formidable champion, and it will be incredibly difficult to beat you. But if I do it, I will A, push back on that narrative that you said to me, I'm not a real champion because I didn't defend it, and I will be a two-time champion, singles champion, and that matters. And I'll be back on that Mount Rushmore. And after that, I'm going to go after everybody else. I'm going to challenge whoever's going to win that uh, the tournament you're going to yep. have going on. Yep. And then I'm going to go and try to get Sam out of retirement. I want to be a champion that this league is proud of, and I want to be a champion for a long time. I've never trained harder for anybody else like I've trained for you because I know you are going to be the toughest competition I've had in a very long time since Dan Merle. And John, that's no lie. John you, Roca John. And, and William Bibiani, the champion, going at it this Friday. John has a big match coming up today at mm-hmm. 1 with Dan Merle against Corruption. But on Friday, for the championship, on Collider, 1 p.m. PST, you can watch the title match go down between Roca and Bibiani. You got something, Makus? Yeah, just uh, you guys can buy Wildberries t-shirts. At t- <laughs> <laughs> are there are there multiple Wildberries t-shirts? Oh, can we have plenty. Get, oh, so my God. Many. I should be... And rolling can I get a Wildberries t-shirt? Yeah, and I mean, after I win cool. on Friday, and I'm going to win oh. on Friday, uh, you can see me at Los Globos uh, with Josh oh, McCougan, yeah. and, Ken Knapsack, and, and, and Mark Ellis, yeah. and T... And uh, can oh, are you on yeah. the show now? Yeah, I, now yeah, yeah. apparently I've well, because because uh, uh, Sheridan's out because he's going to be out of town. He yeah. didn't defend the title for the show. I don't know if it counts that he's on the oh. show. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward. Listen, I will say this. I will yeah. say this. Yeah. If John beats Fair me, enough. Yeah. if John beats me, and he might, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, I look forward be. to this new era that he wants to usher in of the Schmodown in which nobody smack talks. I think I'm really looking forward to that <laughs> because that's his definition of disrespect in the yeah, game. I don't know. It's no smack watch talk. The ratings, so no more watch smack the ratings go in the tank. I think, stop yeah. bits and stop complaining. I think if I, put that, if I put that moniker down there of telling, pe- of pe- of telling people you yeah. cannot smack talk anymore, I just, no, I all never... I know is it delegitimizes me as a champion. Yeah. So, Christian, uh, yes. you said you wanted to hear them out before you made your decision yeah. on who you thought would take oh, it. Yeah. What are you thinking? It depends on the wheel at this point. It depends on the wheel. What a wimp out um, answer. Oh, my God. I, he I made gotta, all look, of us here, answer. Here's, here's the thing. Here's my Just flip a coin. Here, here's why. Because I'm agreeing with Makuga the two. I believe that you've studied. I do believe that you've yeah. studied very much so for him. I think that your emotions get the better of you sometimes. Yeah. I've seen it it's happen. No lie. I've seen it happen before. 
the mere mention of his name and you going into past got you fired up. Mm -hmm. If he does that once to you, I see him winning the match. If you stay calm, cool, and collected, I see it be a tough fight. He knows things about movies that I don't think the filmmakers themselves know. Yeah. So, um, Roxy, I am going to wuss out. It could go either way. Wow. It could go either way. So, um, all I can tell is you've mm -hmm. seen you've seen my focus lately. You've seen before matches. I am dialed in. I agree. And calm. And if it was thing if behind it was, the, the stage. I agree. The, if it was against anyone else, I would say, yeah, you're locked in. Mm -hmm. 22 rounds in, in the free-for-all is yeah. not to be scoffed at. That is standing. Absolutely not. He destroyed Snyder, whether Snyder gave up or not. He, sure. he gave up because he was getting destroyed. Yeah. Um, and then he beat Andrejko again. Yeah. So, and that's hard. Andrejko only lost once this season. Mm -hmm. To him, I so, think you're putting my performance at the free for all lately because combined the wild, the combined the wild berries went six <laughs> rounds. It's right. a big freaking deal. And he was drunk. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He was drunk. Thank yeah. you. Well, yeah.